Ryan from Recreational Combat. Uh, I am doing an interview with Kong Ho. He is the inventor of the Burst Wizard. Uh, if you go to his website, aegwizard.com, am I correct on that? Yeah. Yeah, you'll, yeah, be, able to, yeah. you'll be able to see that product. It's an awesome product. I've played with it. We're going to talk a little bit about it. I've been uh, exposed to this uh, airsoft uh, uh, world by my nephew about a year ago. You know, so uh, basically, uh, he wants me uh, to. He wanted me to help him to install an, uh, a, a product into uh, one of his AEG guns, so as to allow him uh, to do the burst mode uh, firing uh, all his gun. Okay. So that's how I learned about the game. So when that would be the MOSFET, basically, did right? Did uh. Did you have any experience with MOSFET technology before this? Yes, actually, I I did, you know, because of uh, my background is uh, I'm an electrical engineer. I ah. have a BS degree in electrical engineer, okay. and I also have a master degree uh, in computer engineering. Okay. So my trade is always an en electrical and computer engineering uh, for 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 all my life. Yeah. So you definitely you've got the experience and you've got you've got the the background for it. Okay. Talk to me about the product. Describe it for me. Okay. So the first wizard uh, was inspired by my nephew. You know, I just uh, uh, talked uh, told you about the incidents that he wanted me to install. Uh, MOSFET type products for him. At that time, I didn't know what it was. I just know that uh, he wants me to uh, solder something for him. So I came over there uh, and and did what he wanted to do. And I looked at it and noticed that it took him about 15 minutes and all 30 hands in order to uh, to open up the, the gun. And so after I installed the product for him and asked him, hey, why? Why you need a uh, burst mode firing? I mean, if you uh, want burst mode, you just uh, release the trigger. You know, that's all you need to do. You yeah. Know, just try to find out this. And he said, well, there are actually several reasons. You know, one of which is uh, there are real guns out there that actually has burst mode. So a lot of players would like the AEGs to emulate uh, that kind of mode firing, and on top of it, he says uh, some of our, some other players would like to have like single shot mode in the throttle uh, to uh, to get away with uh, the mechanical stopping uh, from the AEG to get the semi auto mode. Okay. So so uh, and of course he also mentioned some of the nice feature about MOSFET, like uh, protecting your trigger switch and and motor soft starting. You know. Yeah, Things protecting like protecting the gears, all that. Yeah, protect the gears to that. So 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 I look at it and I said, uh, hey, based upon my engineering background, I think there's a easier way to, uh, to do this. You know, what if if I make you a burst mode firing device that is a puck and play, meaning you don't have to. You don't have to wire it in like all the messes with all the other guns. Yeah. Right, and, 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 and also, you know, you told me that you can only afford uh, to, to buy one of this to put in one of your gun, and yeah, they get you expensive. have set guns, so, so what about the others? And, and, and I said, if I do this, you know, if I design something like this, I'd be allowing you to use that device in every of your, any one of your guns. So he was excited. So uh, there, you know, the point of the... Uh, Burst uh, plug and play uh, burst wizard uh, device. Awesome. That's how long did it take from the inception of the design to the production of the design? I I'd say the, the uh, turnaround time is about uh, four months. You know, uh, the first couple of months is really you know prototyping it, you know, uh, designing the, uh, the 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 L software algorithm to control. Uh, the motor. I mean, it, it's uh, at first it seems you know the concept seems simple. You know, yeah. You basically try to control the timing uh, uh, when uh, you turn on and when you want to turn off the motor. But uh, because of the 
uh, high amount of current involved here, plus the motor is a dynamic device, you know. So, so uh, I figured out pretty quickly that maybe there's a reason why people have not thought of this idea. You know, I thought, you know, the, 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 the most challenging thing I believe was uh, the trigger response. You know, okay. how you could, you know, just release your trigger and rearm it and the gun has to respond. You know, not like a dumb timer where you program it like uh, to, to, to fire three rounds. So until it fires up all three rounds, it won't respond. You know, so that's kind of challenge that I face. Uh, face. People said, hey, both, uh, first wizard is great, but it, it's not a MOSFET. Well, I want to answer that question as yes and no, you know? Yeah. You know, yes, you no, know, basically, I, I say MOSFET circuit is a MOSFET circuit, you know? So it doesn't matter, you know, whether uh, you you are in a plug and play format or not. You know, the, to answer the question about uh, the burst wizard, how can a burst wizard uh, achieve uh, reducing uh, the uh, arcing in in your in your AEG gun. So my my design my answer to that is because first wizard has a very good hardware and software algorithm okay. in it. So everyone knows arcing occurs most likely during the time when you're engaging the contact switch, uh -huh. meaning you're pulling the trigger, and the other time is when you are releasing the trigger, meaning that you are disconnecting the contacts. So in both cases, Burst Wizard has algorithm, you know, to prevent uh, arcing from happening. Okay. You know, so you don't really need to have uh, a complete bypass, like a wired-in device, in order to achieve uh, this advantage. So that's good, you're able to You've you've covered the demand for um, protecting the switch as well as the burst fire mode. Right. So 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 I'm not uh, saying that uh, the burst wizard will be equivalent to the uh, wired one. Okay. But uh, I I think is it has an enhanced. The, uh, the the usage life of your trigger switch uh, significantly. Okay, okay. How are you able to keep the price on this device low? Because when I look at a lot of other MOSFETs, even the ones that you have to wire in, you know, you're paying fifty and sixty and seventy and a hundred dollars, um, you know, for a device that you have to do a lot of the work on. How are you able to keep the price low on such a convenient product? Well, I think uh, because I limit my sales channel to very uh, directly to the uh, end users, you know, so I don't, you know, go through a big wholesaler where they really, uh, you know, ask for, you know, a, a lot of markups. So, so basically... So yeah, you're doing, you're selling it yourself, bit, like it's coming straight from you yeah. to the, the consumer. Right. Okay. The majority, uh, till now, you know, the majority uh, buyers is directly uh, going through me. You know, I do distribute the products to some of the local stores. Uh -huh. You know, so, so I, I do have wholesale pricing, you know, for some of the uh, uh, local stores and they seem to be happy with the pricing structure that I have established for the product. Okay. So my idea is I really want a general uh, public airsoft user uh, to have a chance to uh, to have more fun with the with the AEG guns and also with the games, you know that's my that's my purpose and yeah. I want to stick with that. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it. We I went out to Blast Camp in Indiana last weekend and I got a chance to okay. use it there. I had a lot of fun with it. What's there. the name of the website? Oh, it's uh, www.aegwizard.com. Cool.